Hello, and welcome back to Storytime with Logie in the world of Drakensang. Uh, yeah, I didn't have a pit out last time I left you. Um, I'm still in the same spot. I haven't done anything. I was just organizing my spells and accidentally clicked one, which gave me fastness of body. And I was like, hmm, if I right click on that one, it automatically casts on me. But if I right click on anything else, well, anything else over here, none of it works. And I think it's just the spells that affect me that, that work. Um, I, I raised the casting level on all of them. Might as well do the max, I guess. Um, and I just summoned a pet for the hell of it. So yeah, got my helpful paw. So now we have light above our head, too. We don't need to use all these. There's really no point in it. We're going to lose our pet here in 29 seconds. I was just playing around. So anyhow, last time I left you, uh, we were on our way in that direction over there somewhere. Because we are heading towards this, uh, well, mushroom gatherer, I guess. We're going to, uh, to that question mark there. That should be our trainer. So let's head off in that direction. This is just such a gorgeous game. Hello out there. Anybody here? Hey, hello, mushroom gatherer. Oh, can I help you? The harbor master sent me. He said that you would be able to show me the way to Master Laurelin. Oh, yes, I certainly can. I spend all my time here, and that's why I'm well versed in the subject. Do you know, once I found a really rare herb and... My dear lady, that is most interesting. But all I want to know is how to find Master Larling. Oh yes, forgive me. I tend to digress somewhat. Follow the path behind me. I'll mark Laurelin's camp on your map. Then you can't miss him. Oh, avoid the troll bridge by the waterfall to the south. There are really trolls hanging around there. They're dangerous. Avoid the troll bridge. Check. Thank you My for your pleasure. Help. Have a nice day. Me too. Oh, this could get interesting. Um, let's uh, head this direction, I guess. And we've got plenty of uh, mana. Look, our astro energy. That drops us down, but it regenerates so damn fast. We're good. Well, we'll keep a pet out pretty much all the time. I think that's kind of my goal anyhow, is I want to be a summoner. I mean, we are a spell weaver, but we're going to be kind of the summoning style thing. You get the idea. Hey, let's go kill your friend. Anybody? Anybody? Yeah, is that me? What's that? Hello. Lara Lynn. Oh. That means he's dead ahead. Right? Larlin. But our question mark is over here. Master Larlin. Are we just in Larlin Forest? Maybe? Perhaps? Let's keep going this direction. Looks like this badger might be leading us somewhere. Let's follow him. Hello out there. Anybody home? Well, there's signs of civilization. There should be somebody out here, perhaps. Ah, hello. Good to see another elf. Sanyasala. Sanyasala. I greet you also. Brother, what leads you to me? I'm Elderon Ice Chanter. Eladirion, Shining Crystal, sent me. She told me I could learn from you. I'm pleased to hear about Elderion. I would be happy to share my knowledge with you. You can call upon powers which not all elves can master. And I can feel your connection to nature. I am wandering from place to place in search of knowledge. I'd therefore like to learn from you, Laurelin. A wise decision. However, before your instruction begins, I have a request. What is it, Laurelin? Gain the trust of my soul creature, the Badger. He will prove very important to your instruction. 
He is quite shy, however, and will flee from you if you make any sudden moves, so approach him with care. Badgers love one berries. I'll use this fruit to help me gain his trust. A good idea. He loves one berries. Try it. And that was actually a response we could use because I, I should have shown you before I clicked it. Um, it used our... I don't know what skill it was. It's like our, our nature skill. Something where we know about survival skills, I guess. Okay, anyhow. A good idea. He loves one berries. Try it. Okay. Sounds good. Are you a, a one berry? Hooray! Let's see if we can pick you. Oh, we got five of them. Great! Oh, wow, we get adventure points? Maybe that was just for the quest. But if we get them for gathering shit, I'm gonna be gathering stuff all the time. Um, oh yeah. Walk. Let's see if he'll let me talk to him. animal looks at you inquisitively. Yeah, it's my animal lore skill. Sanyaba, my friend. Do you see these lovely one berries? They're for you. Come and get them. Gobble. The animal gobbles down the berries noisily and looks at you trustingly. That's right. Don't be afraid. animal look at you inquisitively. Okay. Let's see if we can talk to him again. He just looks at us inquisitively. Well, alright then. Uh, before we go and talk to somebody, I want to... Look at that sound. Volume. Music volume. Let's raise dialogue, maybe. Uh, dialogue volume. If the shit. candidate takes the stage once again, okay, we'll ready for the next question. Up. So dialogue will be a little higher. Interface a little higher. Sound effects a little higher. Ambient. This way you guys can hear a little bit. Keep the, keep the music down there. Um, hopefully that's not too loud. I thought it was a little low before. Let's go ahead and continue. Great, let's just check this. Let's grab some one berries. I want to see if this gives us any, uh, any adventure points just for gathering. Ooh, we failed. Gull moon. We are going to be an alchemist later, I think, so might as well get used to picking it now. God, we suck. Or by the gods. And I'm sure there's probably more than one god in this game. Yay, one berries. Pick them all. Success and no adventure points. So that was just for the that was just for the uh, quest. Darn. Hello, Larlin. Have you gained his trust? Yes, I think I have. Then your instruction can start. I'll put a chest back there for you, should you leave some things behind for safekeeping. Okay. So, this is our personal chest. Personal travel chest. We can leave items in here, I, I guess. We have one berry juice. When the healing effects of one berries are concentrated, one berry juice is capable of healing small and medium sized wounds immediately. And then we have the fables from the Kosh. So we are going to leave all of this crafting crap stuff we don't need. I don't know. Bronze coins. Eh. Bleach bone. Keep the bandages. Keep the schnapps. We might want to get drunk later. Don't need those. Diamond dust. No, no. Frog leg. I think that's food. 
Nope, never mind. Apple. Charcoal. Goose feathers. Apples are food for sure. This apple is no longer fresh. Oh shit, that's right. Food spoils. But we need to get rid of that then. Are these schnapps? Yeah, these should still be good. I don't think our schnapps goes bad. Uh, do we got any more food? One berries, those should still be good. So, if we eat the berries, they give us a VP plus one, which is vitality points, I assume. If we drink this, it heals us for 15. So it's much better to turn them into one berry juice. We just need to figure out how the hell, how the hell to do that. So I think we'll, uh, um, I think we'll, well, I don't know. Should we keep the one berries, maybe? that I was uh, thinking about what I wanted to do. We'll keep the one berries. Tinder fungus. It's a bow recompense. So we'll leave that. Leave the leather strips. Broken arrows. Bullet fragments. We're going to throw the apples away. Keep all that crap. Yay! We're good. We'll take that just in case we need to heal. I don't think we're going to read right now. Hip hip oh fucking hooray. We can't go in this little shack. So he gives us a chest and no goddamn place to sleep. What the hell's wrong with him? He's probably like, this is your home right here under this porch. This is where you will sleep. Hello, camera's going crazy. Stay! No way. Ah, it won't focus when I'm under there. Okay. What's right here? One berries, let's get some more. We want to make some of that healing, healing shit. Stuff. Garuga. What the hell did I just do? Failure. Yes, we are a failure. But, uh, what the hell? The camera's going crazy. Alright, I think we need to go somewhere. Um, guess we could read the quest book. Um, closed? What about open quests? Okay. I already found him. Well, isn't that freaking wonderful? It doesn't give us any information whatsoever. So, let's head down and see if we can go find his ass. There he is. What's can you feel the vibrations in the air? They tell us of the humans' thoughtless striving for riches. I don't understand. A few moons ago, Nadaret's beekeeper began to breed an unnatural type of firefly. He collects a sweet syrup from their nests and sells it for a fortune. The fireflies multiply quickly and they are very dangerous. If they are provoked, they hunt down all living creatures. I already warned the beekeeper about it and he promised me he would stop. But obviously he hasn't, right? The wind tells me that many fireflies must have hatched. If they continue to multiply, the natural balance between life and decay in this forest can be severely damaged. Follow the stream down to the mill and destroy all the nests and fireflies you can find. But be cautious. The fireflies will defend their nests and will attack you. Take this antidote to heal you from the poisonous stings. I'll set off at once. Also, speak to the beekeeper again and warn him again that breeding those creatures is unnatural and dangerous. The badger will accompany you. You have found a faithful friend in him. Yay! Set off immediately. Follow me, my friend badger. Wait. First, I have to teach you something about life in the wilderness. With this knowledge, you can detect the fireflies from quite a distance. Watch. 
I'm watching. Okay, I understand. I don't know what the hell I saw, but I understand. Ama. Now you will be able to find the fireflies more easily. <laughs> okay. I wish you success. Wow, that was amazing. What the fuck did he just teach us? I don't see anything different. Okay, folks, give me one moment. I will be right back. Alright, sorry about that. Rudely interrupted. Hello. We're getting some slow down here. Okay. That was weird. Alright, anyhow. We are going after these weird misbred fireflies. If we look at our map, we are here. Eldoran, Eldirion, Nice Chander, or however you want to say that. And Badger. First one we're going to hit is right up here. So we're going to go north, back up the way we came, and kill this firefly and work our way down through that chain. And hopefully down here somewhere we will find out where the breeder is at and have our little conversation with him. Maybe fry his ass with a thunderbolt and put my life at risk. But anyhow, off we go. Let's go ahead and get out our other helpful paw here. So we'll have two badgers. Yay, there you go, mate. Make us babies. I can have an army of badgers. That looks like a firefly did a hit. A big firefly. Can we attack him? Hello. No. Maybe he's not an enemy firefly. I don't know. Oh, we have to attack the, that. So, one. Stop it. There we go. Um. Can I order my badgers to attack? Ah, there we go. Uh, attack. I just told myself to attack. Oh well. Yeah. Might as well. I'm not really gonna hurt as much. What have you got? Venom sack. What are those used for? That's a feeling it might be used for like crafting. Maybe you can make anti-venom or something. Use your weapon. Anything. Uh, poison fang. Useful in alchemy. So maybe the other things aren't, but who knows? Who cares? I don't. Charge! Me and my army. Yeah, we do not want to confront those guys. Brolbu, Mambo, and... What's his name? Shit. Close to Don't get too close. Crawl one. Those are the ogres or whatever she was talking about. These guys will fuck us up. Like, badly. Alright, it seems that Fraps is slowing down on me again. This is great. We're about to crash, I think. Maybe. Something's gonna happen. Uh, don't crash. No. Well, in that case... God, I'll be back. Alright. Doesn't seem to have fixed it, so I'm probably just gonna have to stop this video short and restart the game all together. So I will be back doing another video here shortly. I'm having fun. <sighs> Thanks for watching.